Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you various uses of a zero homo resistor, this mysterious component that at first seems useless. Remember to subscribe so pop the resistor could be happy. <laughs> so let's start with a simple thing. You know that the resistors are used uh, for a lot of things. One of them is to limit the current in a circuit. But the zero homo resistor cannot really limit the current as it is, well, a zero home resistor. So what are they used for? Well, I'm going to tell you four reasons they exist. The first one, and more obvious, is to make a jumper in a standard form factor. They can be placed with pick and place machines, and with the various sensitivity package, they can fit anywhere. So they are perfect for this purpose. A jumper is a good way to modify the functionality of your board. Like in this example, if you have the jumper placed, the MCU will receive 5 volt and do things. Whereas if you remove the jumper, it will not receive 5 volts and it can do other things. The second one is strictly related to the first. We use zero homo register to go over PCB traces. For example, in this layout, I had to place a zero home register to jump over an horizontal trace, so that a vertical trace could be routed. Or again, under there. And this is a really great tool for PCB designers, as they can jump over PCB traces easily, so you don't have to upgrade to a 4 or higher layer board. In fact, these resistors are really cheap, as you can see here, whereas upgrading layer count costs a lot more. Okay, jump to the next one. The third use is to place those zero home register as a placeholder in your PCB. Let's say, for example, you have a voltage divider like this, and you want to have 600 home up and 330 home down. Now, what if after testing you want to change the upper resistor to, let's say, 700 home? Well, you have three possibilities. The first is redo the design, but obviously this is not an option, as it costs time and money. Buy a 698 ohm resistor that you probably don't have, because it is a strange value and also it's not, it's not exactly 700 ohm. Or third, do a good design with a 0 ohm resistor under the 680, so that uh, to form the famous 700 ohm, you just swap the 0 ohm uh, with the 20 ohm if you need. The fourth use of a 0 ohm resistor is, well, basically to hide information under it or to make the reverse engineering more difficult. Although for this purpose there are much better ways, like Lasnir at uh, NEC that is uh, very common and uh, there are also blank ICs that uh, really do nothing but they are here just to confuse uh, the guy who wants to reverse engineer. By the way guys remember that a zero home register is not exactly a zero home register. Another sheet like this one will uh, tell you the effective resistance and also the maximum current and voltage that can withstand. Okay guys that's it for now. Please subscribe and hope to see you next time.